Hello, grade six students. For this week, we are going to start a new lesson, which is called Gaz Behavior. We are going to get introduced to the following vocabulary, which is pressure, volume, and Charles Law and Boyle's Law. We are going to start this lesson by identifying the term pressure and what does it mean, and we are going to identify what is temperature. We've already talked about these two terms alone, but we are going to relate them to gas. In the previous lessons, we learned about gas particles, the physical properties of gas. We know examples of gas. So now we are going to relate pressure and temperature in a way that uh, connects into gas particles. For us to fully understand how gas particles behave, we have to imagine and view simulations of gas behavior because gas is a colorless and odorless what particles so we cannot view them or we cannot see them unless we imagine what a simulation of gas we are going to view simulations a lot of simulations about gas particles about their pressure about their volume about their temperature and then Moving on to the second part of the lesson, we are going to be introduced to two important laws that show us how the uh, gas particles behave. The first law is Charles' law, and the second law is Boyle's law. Charles' law connects temperature and volume together. Since we already know what temperature, temperature is and we know what volume is, we're going to see how they connect together to show us one of the laws that gas behaves, which is called Charles' law. Moving on to the other law, which is called Boyle's law, it connects pressure and temperature. We're going to talk about how these two terms connect and help affect as a factor gas behavior. We're going to talk about Charles' law and Boyle's law by also viewing simulations. We're going to view a lot of simulations in this lesson. So we can actually see how gas behavior acts. And then we are going to view real life problems of gas behavior. We're going to see where we usually see how gas behave in our real life. And we, as usual, we are going to do a lot of fun activities where we draw on cardboard so we can imagine, take notes or on our notebook. We will have group discussions. We will play Blooket to make this lesson more fun and engaging also. And like always, we assess our knowledge by doing online quizzes. We will do online quizzes through the website quizzes so we can actually know if we got the full picture of the lesson. And I hope that this week will be fun and engaging for you. If you ever need anything, sixth grade, you know where to find me. Thank you so much. I hope this week would be as fun and full of knowledge as the past weeks.